Hi everybody, David Dilling here on behalf of MarkSquare. Today we're going to show you how to place a multi-page PDF. Actually, we're going to show you two methods to do that, all right? It's really cool, and one method is going to give you a lot more flexibility than the other. So let's go check it out. So make a new document. I'm going to choose a, a letter or A4, because that's like basically most PDFs are those sizes, right? I mean, they can be any size, but that's just uh, in general. And the way to place a multi-page PDF in Adobe InDesign is via the window utilities scripts, which I already have open. And when that, I've cheated, I've already uh, done a sample here, a test. When it comes in, it looks like this. And if you choose application, you'll get samples. And we choose samples, that's where it is. Seems a little strange, but that's where it is. You click Apple Script, and you get Apple Script, you'll get the one. And for someone dyslexic like me, it's difficult, but there it is, already selected. Place multiple page PDF. So if we move that away here, and we double click that, it's that easy to place a multi-page PDF. Here we have one. You can see it's multi-pages. And we hit choose. We hit start on page one. It will place the PDF starting on page one. If you want to start on a particular page of multi-pages already, that's handy. You start on one, and there it goes. It starts doing page by page by page. And what's interesting, take note of the time. Actually, we're just going to fast forward here. The, this, this amount of time takes about the same in the other method we're going to show you after this one. Okay, there we have it. So now we see the PDF is placed. It ends on the end of the PDF. And we can see over here we have 64, 65 pages on, on these, uh, these spreads here. And we can check out all the information. Now if I try to click on an image, I can't. If I try to edit the text, I can't. If I look at the link, it's only showing me information on the PDF. Matter of fact, it's showing me the information on the entire PDF, not just the placed page here. So it's kind of tricky. And there are tricks to actually go here and um, edit with, and we could actually go right to the second method right now. We could use, use flight check to get more details, pre-flight the file, or we could write in the PDF marks, which we're, what we're going to do right now. But what we're going to do is show you the different way around to do that. So we're going to close this document, so we have nothing open in InDesign, so we get our open window in PDF marks, and we're going to take the same PDF, we're going to drag and drop it on PDF marks here. PDF marks a standalone application from our marks line. We have to do the same thing for Quark files, do the same thing for InDesign files, do the same thing for Illustrator files. Matter of fact, Illustrator files work right in PDF marks the same way. You drag and drop your Illustrator or your PDF on the icon of PDF marks or the application, and you'll get a preview and conversion options. We see it, we get some information on the entire PDF, and we can see if we go here down to page 64, we can see where we just were looking. That's the page, and that's really cool. So this is how PDF Marks gives you a preview, and then you can just simply click here, the InDesign icon, convert it right to Adobe InDesign. Now there's a lot of other options and automations, we're not gonna get into them. Just click InDesign, and off it goes, converting this PDF into an entirely new InDesign layout. It'll look very similar to what you just saw, but will be fully editable. And there we see it opening up in the background, and now we can go over to InDesign, and we'll see, wow, look at that. We got the entire document now perfectly converted over. There will be some minor touching up to do in such a method. For instance, you'll notice that the, the image here uh, does need to be resized to fit better to how it was in the original, but that's not a big deal. You just adjust it, and off you go. And most importantly, go in and swap out images you need to change because of resolution issues or edits, like you can actually start doing entire text changes. You have live text, full layers, styles, colors, everything you need to edit the PDF properly right in Adobe InDesign, not in some pit stop or PDF editor. So that's how easy it is to import PDFs, multi-page PDFs, or how to place multi-page PDFs in Adobe InDesign. Two methods, the native InDesign method with the script, or the Marksware method with PDF marks. For more information on Marksware's PDF marks, cruise over to marksware.com and cruise on over to the under products PDF marks. You get all the information on how easy it is to transform your PDFs into entirely new page layouts like Adobe InDesign. But check out the reviews while you're there. We have many videos on YouTube here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. But check out the reviews. There's just so many, so many cool ones. Like the process went from eight hours to seconds with PDF marks. We look forward to adding you as a customer. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach us on sales at marksware.com. This is David Dilling from Marksware wishing you a fantastic day. Take care. Get approved. Get content. Be creative. Marksware.com